What's going on, man? It's your boy Hung Goes Crazy, bro. We back with another video. Hey, bro, today we got something special. It's a little story time. The time I got humbled, bro. Hey, man. Without further ado, let's get into this, man. Let's get it, man. All right, man. We back. Another story time, bro. Let's get right into it, bro. Hey, this is the time I got humbled real bad. But, um, you know, I feel like everyone should have a humbling moment. Um, it was in high school. If y'all don't know, I'm like a college student, UBA. Um, you know, I've done my first year and, you know, three more years to go. But like, it's like a D1 school, if y'all don't know, pretty prestigious. And how did I get here and all that? Like, you know, there was a moment in my high school where I was kind of like humble. And, um, you know, it was senior year and, you know, how. If you guys ever been through the college application process, you know, you have to like basically apply and, you know, do this essay, do some sub questions and just pray you get in and have enough, you know, on your resume or grades or whatever. So essentially, um, it was my senior year and I'm applying to like all these schools, you know, and keep in mind, like, you know, I was like the top of my class, made all A's, um, kind of just had a little ego on me and was kind of kind of arrogant probably and like just thought I was like him you know just in school because it wasn't really hard you know until college but in the moment I didn't really think about it as being hard or whatever so like when I started doing like the common app application or aka like the the essay part of your college application process you know I had a college advisor at the time and keep in mind like he's pretty blunt he's like a tells you how it is and he would advise all these students on like you know how he got into this college that college or whatever and he's like a uva alumni or whatever so i basically made my essay you know and he checks like a lot of people's essays so i was like why not because i want to make sure i can get in all my schools you know i write my essay and you know i'm thinking like this, this is pretty slight and you know, I'm writing it and I'm done. It's time to show him it, right? So next thing you know, the next day I, I went into his office and he's just chilling. Saying like, can you check my essay? He was like, yeah, because like, you know, it checks everyone's essays. So I, you know, I sent him my essay and like, I'm sitting there, he's sitting there just looking at it. He's reading through it, right? And basically, he kind of gave me a look of like, like, hung, what is this? But I think he said something along the lines like, this is ass. Damn! Like he, he was blunt when I tell you. And <laughs> it kind of hit me like, like I thought like, you know, mine was pretty good, but you know, I wasn't like, really good at writing at the time. So I was like, why, why am I getting this response? He was like, this is ass, you know, what is this? You know, you, you know get back in the lab. So I'm like, you know, in the moment, in the moment, I didn't really, you know, show feelings or whatever. But when I got home, I was like, okay. It's kind of butthurt, kind of humbled. And then I, I come back. You know, I write my essay again, try to revise what he said, right? And then I come back to the office like like in two days or something. And he read it again like, this this is not it. Like, and I, I really try to revise it, but he said like, this is not it. You know, it was just like kind of frustrating because like when you try something and you don't get it and you try again and you don't get it again, it's like, where's my work? getting put at or whatever so i'm like what's wrong with it and he, he's just like revising like you know it has to flow you know all this and that and i'm over here kind of like i thought it was the i thought this should be easy i thought it was a good student i thought this was you know i should be good but obviously it wasn't and you know he said he kept saying like revise this revise that came back kind of same thing but eventually he said like, you know, 
do you know this guy? Um, you know, he's a senior as well. And like his essay, you know, I read, I think I asked him like, has there ever been anyone where you didn't have to revise anything? Cause I was like unsure, you know, everybody must be going through this process. He basically said, yeah, this guy, like I read it once and it didn't be revised at all. Like it was good. So I'm like, you know, how could this be? I'm like, I was, I was like a, a competitive person in school. So like, you know, how can I overcome this or whatever? So, you know, he started changing up my essay, see what can be done. And then like, I go back to the lab and do it again. And this is in a span of like three months, like just doing my essay. Just like, you know, coming back another week, a little bit better, a little bit better, but it wasn't just quite there. And essentially he said like, um, you know, read my essay. So I, I go and read his essay, like the college advisor himself, when he got to his college, um, which is UVA as well. So like, obviously I would want to take like advice from him, you know, how he did it. So I, I basically read his essay, I'm like, after I read it, like, it was like <laughs> one of them sob stories, but it was like crazy. Like, like I felt like when I read his essay, I compared it to my essay and like my essay was like down here so I could see why like where he was coming from and I also read the other dude's essay that he didn't have to revise at all and I was like <laughs> I could see why I was down here now so you know I kind of revised my essay to kind of match their style of writing because I, I kind of liked how they wrote next thing you know like it was way better right so like and you know it wasn't perfect but you know, he said like, you know, still change up some stuff. So like, by the end of the three months, you know, we finally got like a good essay. All we had to do was change a few words, you know, make it sound normal or like simple and not like over complex. And so like, you know, over this time period, I kind of like was like butthurt about the fact that like, why am I not perfect, you know, or had that perfect mindset like, or at least like, I didn't expect to get the response I, I got. Like, this is ass, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, once I got the essay down, you know, I applied to my dream school, UVA, and I was hoping to get in. This this is like, by the end of the, like probably around December when I'm, or no, I applied I think in like, October, November for early action, so I wouldn't get the decision letter to like February, right? So I'm chilling. And like, this is a time like he's telling me like, do all these scholarships, you know, do this, do that. And you had to write a lot, right? So like, I started like writing a lot and I realized like my writing got like so much better in this time period. Like I realized like, my old writing was not as good as I thought. So, uh, you know, entered a scholarship, that scholarship, this scholarship, a, a good amount, you know, during this time period. And it's like January, got a couple scholarships in, haven't won nothing yet though. So it was like, I was just applying, just apply. But in February 15th, I was chilling at the mall, right? I get a, I get a, um, I think an email or from Common App or something like your decision letter has came out, it's official. Cause I had a couple decision letters come out for like other colleges, but like those colleges wasn't as prestigious. So I didn't like really over, get it over excited. The UVA came in, it was early action, you know, it was pretty competitive, only 20% acceptance rate. I opened the um, thing during the, well, I was in the mall, you know what I'm saying? So, open it, and when I got accepted, like, it said congratulations, so I was just like, I don't know, my face, it was just like, I had a group of friends around me. I was just like, I was just like, mama, I made it. Like, it was just, a, very emotional time period because like all the all the months I spent on that essay you know from getting humble to like working it working it working it and then getting it better like I don't know it just felt like a, a hill that I had to climb over right so I just felt emotional you know my friends congratulating me and I know some other people that got rejected so it was like I was so grateful you know what I'm saying to actually get put through that process of, you know, overcoming that sh like kind of struggle of writing to become like a exceptional writer or like, you know, pretty good. And then these scholarships start coming in like 
oh, you want a scholarship, this, that. And my confidence started going up. Like, cause like these, all, all these scholarships, you had to like write an essay too. So like, you know, I was becoming a better writer, this and that. And it was just like, everything was going my way now. Like, just cause, you know, I would get acceptance um, for a scholarship, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars. And it was like all the hard work was finally paying off. Like, you know, I was knocked down, but I got back up, right? So I kept getting these scholarships throughout like February, March, April, and even May. And like, you know, when I graduated, it was just uh, emotional. And then I went finally, you know, obviously now we're here, but went to UVA. And I think the moral of the story is like, um, you know, I got humbled in a way where like, I thought I was like the top of the top of the the league in a way, but like not to sound like that cocky, but I was kind of arrogant and you know, I wrote my essay, got very humbled, and you know went through like trials and tribulations a little bit with you know going back and forth with it. Came back, came back stronger, got accepted, won like ten plus scholarships, overcame some odds, bro, and shoot, now we're here. So it was like. It just shows you, you know, don't give up. You know, when you get knocked down, right? So like, just remember like improvement. And I realized that like, every time you get knocked down, it's not about like how hard you get hit, but like how hard you get back up and kind of improve on what you, where you went wrong. Cause nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like you watching this video, you probably got some flaws. You know, everyone, you know, like they got some type of flaw but like, how are you gonna kind of like work on that, fix that? Like, and from that, I applied it to like my life now. Like, you know, every time I get, like, I don't want to become like arrogant, too, too, too cocky, right? Because you can get humbled anytime. And that's just a life lesson. So, um, more of the story, don't be too cocky. Um, and if you get knocked down, just know how to respond to it. And um, yeah, that was a story time. Um, it's crazy. Shoot, hey man, if you got some motivation from that, you know, a little story time, you know, how I overcame something, um, how I got humbled, then make sure you, uh, you know what I'm saying, comment um, if there was every time you got humbled or whatever. Make sure you like, uh, shout out to Cameraman. How you feel about it? <laughs> My voice almost went dead. Uh, huh? I don't know, I feel like, you know, always, you know, when you, like, get knocked down, always get back up, you know? Because failure is a test of faith, faith, faith and faith, you know? Once you fail, it doesn't mean you can't succeed. Like, literally, people need to fail to succeed, so that's just what I believe in. And, you know, God, with, with God on your side, everything's possible. So, yeah. Hey, bro. So that's just a message to y'all. Hey, bro, if y'all get knocked down, bro, y'all can get back up. And, you know, I experienced something that, you know, kind of, it's kind of, you know, it shows that you can, like, kind of come back from anything, especially when you get humbled. So, hey, bro, post, make sure you put in a post notice, bro. Hey, bro, it's been your boy Hungo's crazy. We grinding, bro. Summer is hitting, bro. Hey, bro, make sure you tune in. Without further ado, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.